morning everybody. Morning. So we're just taking our little back route through Surfside to get to the I Ride Trolley stop. We're going to do a little morning of the outlets again. There's a few shops we didn't have time to see last time and I might look in my, my favourite ones again. Probably get a bit of lunch somewhere. Maybe at the outlets we could get a sparrow or something. Yep. Or try something different. You never know. So come along. We're here at the outlets. Scott's bought himself some pants because he's an idiot and didn't pack enough. <laughs> oh, what a knob. Getting here was quite strange. Um, so we were standing at the bus stop. We literally just missed. I ran to the bus. I was like knocking on the door nearly. Yeah. But then he we were- must have saw you as well. Probably. Well, he shouldn't have seen me because he was driving. Do you know what I mean? Like he should be looking ahead. Anyway. Aside from that, we were waiting at the bus stop and this guy just pulls up in a car, I was like, taxi, going to the outlets. I was like, as if we're going to get in this random car that has no taxi sign on it or anything. Mm. And then as he drove up, he went, he called us all drunk. Like, thanks very much. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get in your car now, weirdo. So if you're a lounge flyer fan, definitely go in this store because they've got a whole wall of lounge flies in there. Still not one that I want yet. But I do enjoy looking at them. And they play good music in there too. Oh, I didn't notice. Old school Metallica and Limp Bizkit. Ah, right up your street then. Oh, look at Bumblebee. Why is he there? What's that? Space Battle, Air sh Soft Shooting Range. I found that really hard to read then. Oh, goodness. I love Limp Chocolate. They don't seem to do any Halloween y flavours though when we came in before, do they? So we went in the lint chocolate anyway, see if they had any, I asked if they had any pumpkin flavours or, but it's just the wrapping that's different. But we did get a free sample, which wasn't bad, that was maple, but to be fair, I think if I didn't know, I wouldn't have detected any different flavour than a normal one. Just pulling up to the Disney outlet, there's a small wait, so it must be busy in there. Hopefully we can find something for our nephew. Oh, I see animal stuff as well, pets. Right, we're in. So straight away I can see these Tiana rolling pins they're heavy though they were in the resort weren't they oh and those were because they caught our eye 12.99 here little cocoa shirt is cute isn't it yeah. how much is that 20 dollars down from 35 it's cute that's an extra extra small i mean it's still too big for our nephew but he is going to get that size at some, at some point. Okay, that's something we could possibly get him. So some Haunted Mansion stuff here. Is this room actually stretching? Oh, this is the jacket we saw in Disney Springs the other day. I wonder if this is actually full price. Oh no, it's marked down. Oh my God, I would have been gutted if I bought that the other day. They don't have many sizes. Oh, they do have an extra small there, though. I can't believe that. I might try it on. Not gonna lie, you guys, I actually quite like this. <laughs> I might get it. Look, they have the doggy beds. And only $29.99. They're under the cushion. That's so cool. I think Yaz enjoyed that a little too much. Such a big smile on my face. Um, so I thought it was $40, but there was an extra 30% off. So it worked out 29, 20 quid. It worked out 29.80. So I was like, oh, it's even better. So I'm really pleased with that. And then we got some sets of stickers as we came out the door. Yep. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm not going to lie though, that shop fills me with anxiety. You like it, don't you? Really? It's just so hectic. Everyone's going crazy. Yeah, prices. Including you. No, I was quite, I was quite reserved, you've got to say. You've got to give me my budget. Yeah. We just got out of Bath and Body Works. And because it's the first day of fall, um, it's 40% off everything, the entire store. So we picked up the till. No, I'm joking. We picked up a candle for Scott's mum. I've got another one of these nice linen sprays because our house just smells of dog. And 
four of these car air fresheners, which we bought for family. So all of that came to uh, 35.59, and it would have been, I can't tell you, it would have been double that. No. Okay, we've just ordered from somewhere new. We've got a burger and fries from Five Guys, which was, seems quite expensive. We're sharing. Um, so we came to, for a regular fries, cheeseburger and a drink came to 22.30. Um, but looking at the amount of fries here, oh my god. We got Cajun fries as well. Jesus. So he puts them in a cup and then he just chucks more in the bag. your opinion on five guys then yeah it's fine the burger was good nothing special yeah the fries are really nice the cajun seasoning yeah um, we actually got loads of fries probably could have gone for a uh, it's called a little fries probably could have gone for them what i was saying was that the burger was 11.49 and the chips regular chips were 6.39 when you add that up, that's eighteen dollars for a burger and chips. Like that's not far off park prices, really, or a restaurant. I don't know. I don't know if I, I would rush back here. No, I don't feel like it was anything special. You know me. I'm gonna give you an honest opinion. I am stuffed now, though. I'm glad we tried it. Okay, so we've managed to time the iRide trolley really well today, and. Uh, so the last shop we looked in was Victoria's Secret. There's loads of good deals in there today. I didn't actually buy anything because it was kind of hectic in there, but we're now back at the hotel and we've got maybe a couple of hours to spare. So we don't know whether to go into the park and do Velocicoaster and Hagrid's. We haven't done those yet. However, it is Saturday, so perhaps that would be a silly thing to do on a Saturday. We'll have a look at the wait times anyway. Um, but I'm really pleased with the stuff we bought today. I thought we got some good deals. And it's a nice little shopping trip. Yeah, You didn't buy anything there, did you? Nice some pants. Oh yeah, pants. <laughs> Exciting. So I just thought I'd quickly show you my little jacket that I got. All the little details. So the zippers have like these weird triangles. <laughs> That's the dagger going through the heart. And we have the evil queen on the inside of the jacket. It says, who's the fairest? And then on the shoulder, I love this detailing. So it's like really soft. It's not like hard or nothing. Um, Scott was worried that it might come off, but I think it'll be okay. And on the back, we've got the evil queen with the box with the heart in it. And so full price, $80. It was priced at $40, but I had an extra 30% off today. So that was pretty cool. Was it 30%? Yeah, I think it was. Like it? Yeah, it's nice. Really nice, isn't it? Have that open, like that. You can have it like that. Or shut like that. Or open like that. Oh, I can shut like that. Cool. Reference there. Scott, there. <laughs> It's not the best shot of him, but um, <laughs> what, are the, what are the wait times for? 110 for Hagrid, 100 for Velocicoaster. Yeah, it's quite lengthy. Perhaps we'll give that a miss then today. All right, security is done. Scott's just redressing himself as usual. And um, crap metal. Yeah, well, he said that to me because like, I've got this harness thing on. I went off for the first time. Too much hardware. Too much hardware. Yeah, we're just heading in. Temperature's good. It's supposed to get hotter between four and six. I guess that's when the breeze drops. I'm assuming. I am no scientist or weather girl. Right, we've come to City Walk. So we're calling it Paddy O'Leary's because we could never remember the name, but I think it's. What did you say it was? Pat O'Brien's. Pat O'Brien's. One of O'Reilly's. Um, I'm not even sure it's open. It's not open. No. Margaritaville for the win. 
Can you do, huh? What a shame. We've already had margaritas um, to pre-drink the margaritas. So I'm feeling good. Those those cheap bottles of margarita, they're all right. Because that's the first time I felt a bit tipsy, even over margarita those margaritas. I'm not even sure there's alcohol in them. And I'm a, I'm a weakling. Fat Tuesdays is here. You weren't keen on them last time, were you? No. Are they all frozen? Yeah, I think so. So I'm not really keen on a frozen drink. That might hurts my teeth. These escape rooms look mega. I would like to do one, but I think we'd need a group of us, wouldn't we? Yeah. Because Scott needs direction. Thanks. <laughs> Admit it, though. Yeah, it's probably a fair comment. <laughs> I'm not good at instructions. No, you are when you have simple instructions. But I don't think you're good at making your own instructions. I'm the kind of guy that will get a flat pack and not read the instructions. Yeah. Try I, to just figure it out. On the other hand, I love a flat pack. I think it's like a cool I puzzle. Boring. <laughs> I think they're fun. Yay! Damn far. Margaritas to go. People's name, but there's a. That's where we're gonna sit, right up there, Scotty. And I know, but this way. Yeah, you would actually. They've cordoned off upstairs, so we're gonna see if there's any room at the bar. Ooh, I don't know if we'll be lucky. Wait, it's busy in here. Like Scott said, if you think it's a Saturday, they'd open up the upstairs of all days. I can see one chair. I can see two chairs and they're separate. What did you go for in the end? Who's to blame? Who's to blame? Oh. I have got five o'clock somewhere. Which I've never tried before. I'm really excited to. Oh, excited is the wrong word. I'm looking forward to it. It's got that kind of bitterness of like... Uh, come back to me. <laughs> grapefruit. <laughs> is, there, is there any grapefruit in it? Passion fruit tequila, orange and pineapple juices, and sweet and sour. Ooh. Ooh, volcano's coming. <laughs> we picked up some Margaritaville beer mats for Lee and Sarah because they are collecting them. So if you ever see any strange ones, let us know and then you can post them to Lee and Sarah out on a limb. This one's for you, Jimmy. I love you forever. So we've just finished up our margaritas and we've walked down the steps at City Walk. So we're right by the water's edge and I can hear it lapping up against the side. It's really nice. Oh, it's really shallow, isn't it? Mm. I could just jump in there right now. It is looking absolutely stunning. Like people must think we're absolutely mental. Like, God, is that a view that like, you think is amazing? But sorry, but it is. I know there's prettier views, but if I'm going on a holiday, I want like an adventure holiday. I'm not the type to sit on a beach. Freddy Krueger steps right here. Haven't seen them use this this time. No, not so far. Then tonight's the Saturday, so perhaps it'll be on tonight, maybe. <gasps> Look how pretty hibiscus. Everybody stop and admire the hibiscus. Beautiful. This is not the most beautiful one I've seen, but that one is. <laughs> Yeah, oh. <laughs> All right, here we are heading in. Right. We're here in Stay and Scream. We've got the umbrellas up, the fans on. We're trying to keep as cool as possible. But we're in direct sun, so I gotta be honest with you guys, it's not, it's not fun, this part. But I feel like if you don't have Express Pass, this is kind of the way to get as many houses done in the littlest amount of time possible because it's staying scream starts at i mean you want to start queuing at half past four 
ideally, Stranger Things and Exorcist, wouldn't you say? Start queuing at half past four. Depends on what time the house is open. So Stranger Things op opens at 5.15. The queue that we're in opens at 5.30, so we've got an hour. Um, some houses open at six. But between now and eight o'clock, we can get maybe four or five houses done. And they'll mostly be walk-ons. Whereas if you sort of don't come for stay scream and you get in at seven or six, you're looking at 45 minutes hour waits for houses and if you can sort of suffer a bit now and get everything done you can sort of go for dinner and it's not like I'm going to recommend it because <laughs> it is hard, it is gruelling and I think Universal should put up shade but if you want to get stuff done this is the way you got to do it, you got to do stay and screen. Do you agree? Yeah, it's hard work, but it's the way to go unless you plan on staying really late. Really which late. We don't. Yeah, no. So. I think what well, we've heard that if you stay after midnight, wait times go down. But to be honest with you, we really like going out for dinners and enjoying a few drinks before we go to bed. And that's just the way we do it. So you've got to sort of weigh up whether it's worth it or not. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> hey, so we're straight into Universal Monsters, 25 minute wait. We'll see if it actually is because we're one of the first in out of our stay and scream area. Yep, as expected, this is just going to be a walk on and then we can swing on to the next house. I don't know how many houses will get done with short wait times as being a Saturday because it looks so busy coming the opposite way we'll see what we can do okay next queue line darkest deal posted 10 minutes Saturday night let's see how long it is and what time did you say it was a minute ago 23 minutes so it's 23 minutes past six on a Saturday this is why we do stay in screen Universal Monsters was a walk-on. That's disgusting. He just spat. Yeah, he just spat. I just spat like a proper Flemmy's gob. <laughs> so that house was actually less than the posted time. It was eight minutes by the time we got out. So that was including going through. Just about to go through another one. Uh, Dr. Oddfellows, which is posted 10. We'll let you know how good that is as in time-wise. We know it's an excellent house, that's what I mean. Just out of interest, we were looking at Islands of Adventure, so it's quarter to seven. Hagrid's is at a 120 minute wait. This is obviously on a Saturday. Um, Forbidden Journey, 60 minutes. Velocicoaster, 125. Um, but obviously the rides that are open here in Universal are really low to 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, a Hulk is 80, so it's quite high, isn't it? How cool does it look? Just gone past golden hour and sun's starting to set. I just love this time of night in any park. I think it just looks awesome. The lights start coming on, you get reflections in the lake. Ducks are over there just chilling. I think we're going to head to the mummy. Go on that ride. It's only a 10 minute wait so far. I'll probably go up a little bit by the time we get there, but no worries, no drama. So it's very noisy in here. Don't know if you can hear me. We're at Cheddar's. The reception is frosty uh, every time. <laughs> and the atmosphere, yeah. Um, it's freezing. It's really cold. We're stuck underneath this fan. We just asked if we could turn it down. He said that this particular fan is broken and they can't turn it down. All the others are moving a lot slower. 
and he goes, you're basically stuck with it. Yeah. You're not gonna like move us to a different type. Right. I said I'm freezing, and it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Got these croissants. They always bring them out. They're really nice. Just debating what to order. So after a little wait, the drinks have arrived. At least it wasn't a repeat of last time. Yeah. But even even I'm cold. <laughs> but I'm, we're gonna stick it out. Put in one of us. I think it's we're we're under an aircon vent and the fan. And I'm usually fine in here, so I went and got my jumper and now in. <laughs> I'm in a vest, so my arms are a bit chilly. Alrighty, I'm not hanging around because I'm worried the food's gonna go cold. We've got ribs, mashed potato, green beans, bibat shrimp, and some kind of sauce there. I would say that's ketchup, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's get digging in. So we were not hanging around there. I didn't want it to get cold, and it did get cold quickly. Um, we were both really hungry. It was very, very good. Perhaps not as amazing as usual but still very very good ribs um, if you're a big eater perhaps sharing the half rack of ribs wouldn't be enough but for us with it being quite late it was uh, it was enough for me is it enough for you yeah or else I'll be up all night with indigestion as usual okay so here's our check so that's two bottles of angry orchard Scott had that huge cocktail still working his way through and the shared meal $45.75 and it's such good value in here anyway so even if you did have two meals it's not going to be much more than $60 really is it? $9.99 I think most of the main meals were $12.99 or $15.99 really really good and they're all made fresh aren't they? Also quite a cool thing is that if you want your receipt you can either send it, get it sent by email or no receipt or press print and here it comes that's so clever. So we've just got an over from Cheddar's and that cost us $11 somewhat, about that. And we're now at Murphy's, which is kind of close to our hotel, just around the corner really. But it's right next to Gator Golf. I'll give you guys a little look. So I was confused about gators and crocodiles by like, how do you tell the difference when you're looking at them? apart from where they come from um, so alligators have got more of a u-shaped snout whereas crocodiles have a v-shaped snout that's what I learned at um, Boggy Creek boat tours hello buddy oh look he's coming over now I'm surprised you can get this close to them really because you could stick a finger through not gonna Come on, you can do it. You can do it. So we just finished up in Murphy's, but just before we left, Yaz wanted to have a go at the claw machine. I spotted, right, in the claw machine, there was this purple bat with a skeleton, like bat as in, you know, gothic bat. Um, and so I was like, you aren't gonna win this, you aren't gonna win. So I put 250 cents in, or a dollar, and nothing happened. And there's, there's this couple over there and they're like, you ain't gonna win that man, it's rigged. I was like, yeah, but I'm not going home until I win it. Even I said, you're never gonna get it. You will never get you this. You never get this. So I put another two times 50 cents in and the same thing happened. I was like, I'm not going home until I win this. So I put another two sets of 50 cents in. Muggins over here wasn't recording, but I won. Yeah. <laughs> You finally got it. It's yeah. really cool, actually. It's so cool. I really wanted it. I just can't believe you actually got it. I can't either. I feel like... It was third time lucky. Yes, it was. And it cost me $3. I just literally, this claw went pinned down and on his crutch. It's like, yes, his crutch. And then it lifted up and it just stayed, stayed stuck. Like, and the, that couple were like, like applauding like and everything. <gasps> yeah. And you're like... Oh, because <laughs> sometimes even if the claw picks it, it, just it will drop it. it. Yeah, it just but it, it literally just, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. 
<laughs> Could have got that eye right, Jolly. I'm trying to get this. Um, it's funny because when we went to Port Aventura last, or the time before last, um, I had one go on the claw machine and straight away I picked up a SpongeBob, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I just, I'm so, that, this is the best part of the holiday. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, so we've just walked back. Nearly, nearly back at the hotel now. Um, we've decided to name him Murphy after yeah. the pub where we got him. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Uh, I've had a great time today. Got some bargains, had some good food, got, some, got lucky. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog too. We will see you in the next one. Tomorrow we're going to Volcano Bay, that's the plan. So, we'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye. Thank you.